One of the most confusing tips I've received regarding language learning is to watch movies and series. We all know it will be more enjoyable than learning from a boring book, but is it really effective? People always say, okay, go watch German movies if you want to learn German. But how, if we are beginners or even intermediate levels, how can we understand? How can we follow? Do we have to put on the subtitles? In which language? Mother tongue or target language or both? How long do we have to watch? How do we memorize the words while watching? Should we take notes? If you have the same doubt, this video will give you answers. I have the same questions but found the solution. For the new friends of this channel, I'm Zoe, a binational PhD student in sociology between France and Germany. Germany. I'm also a language enthusiast who speaks several languages. In this video, I will be giving you concrete tips and useful tools to learn the language by watching movies and series. I hope you will find them helpful in your learning process. If you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. So let's get into the video. First question. Can we learn the language by watching movies and series? Yes. Can we do it just at a beginner level? Yes. But at the beginning, you don't know anything about a language, the structure, the grammar, or the pronunciation. Movies and series can't be exclusive learning resources because you still have to learn a language in a more structured way with a book or a language lesson if you are serious about it. They are more like support resources to allow you to practice and keep the interest without boring and tiring content. You need to know that each level's focus and strategy are different. For the beginner level, the goal is to maintain interest and motivation. The focus should be on pronunciation, tone, rhythm, and simple words. For the intermediate level, the objective is to practice sentences in context. It's more useful to pay attention to sentence structure, grammar, and short expressions. For the advanced level, basically, you can understand 7 to 80 percent. Movies and series are the best immersion exercise resource to expand your vocabulary and learn authentic and colloquial expressions to make you speak like a native. How should we do it? I use LingoPi, a language learning platform designed for studying a language while watching TV shows and series. It's suitable for all levels. They also have a lot of content friendly for beginners. Usually you choose the language you want to learn. There are English, Spanish, French, Italian, German, Portuguese, Russian, Korea, and also Japanese. Yes. For example, here um, we choose German and the content we want to watch. For example, here, city tour in Germany. The video has German and English subtitles and a script on the right. You can click on the word you don't know and save it to your flashcards. You can then review them after. Oh, fine. There is content in different genres and new content every week. If you want to try LingoPi, you now have a seven day free trial with 55% off with the link in the description. To start with a video on LingoPi, for example, they have a, already a lot of interactive features. How do you integrate them into your learning routine? For beginners, there is a fun way to study. Watch it and catch the words you already know to imitate the pronunciation or watch the subtitles and learn the words that interest you. The great thing about this platform is that they highlight the words at your level. You can focus on it and repeat it to practice pronunciation. So the first time, watch sentence by sentence with the subtitles in two languages. Then the second time, trying to focus only on the German subtitles or even without the subtitle to repeat the words you just learned. Remember to review your flashcards afterwards. For intermediate and advanced level, try to use only the original subtitles. Challenge yourself and do not rely on the translation. So just check the new words. Don't see the translation of the whole sentence. I have two study strategy for this level. Do it with quality and quantity. Quality, write down every new word, understand every sentence and do shadowing exercise. Quantity, watch and listen as much as possible as an immersion exercise without paying attention to the detail. I do both. How? Usually I have a very 
focus study session in which I do quality exercises. For example, in the morning with a 10 minutes video, I will check all the new words and add them to my flashcards. Then I do the shadowing exercise at an average speed. The greatest Sometimes I watch them again without subtitles to find the words I just learned. I also have a relaxing study session like in the evening chilling session. I simply open a series I like and watch it. Another helpful tool I use often is reversal. If you watch my channel, you should know that I often use it and learn language via YouTube and Netflix. Like recently, I watched the Netflix series Wednesday. I really like it. I can already understand 99%, but there are still the new words time to learn some English. I check new random words with one click, save them to my flashcards and continue watch without many interruptions. Wow. What happens to you? I break out into hives and then the flesh goes off my bum. Luckily we have special ordered you a uniform. Enid, please take Wednesday to the registrar's office to pick it up along with a copy of her schedule and give her a tour along the way. Here's a funny story. At first I wanted to watch it in German. Yeah, I was serious. I mean, with the German dubbing and subtitles, I was like, okay, I will sacrifice the original version to practice my German. It's not bad. Actually, okay, let me put some here. Von welchem deiner Geister hast du denn jetzt diesen zehn Nagel? Look, it's, it's, it's actually not that bad. But the problem was that I realized that the subtitles in the dubbing didn't match. So finally, I switched to English and Wow, that's the real Wednesday. Luckily, I didn't finish the series in German, but I was watching quite a lot of a Turkish series with Syrian dialect dubbing. Okay, this is the polyglot problem. So choose the content you are interested in, stick to it and watch it as much as possible. You can also select an episode, a part of the video to do more qualitative exercises like shadowing or excellent imitation. I often do a highly concentrated learning session in the morning for 30 minutes or one hour and chilling session in the evening. You can choose a strategy that suits you, but the essential thing is to integrate it into your routine. Let's be honest, you won't see any progress by simply watching a movie or an episode. Here I share the method and tools with you. The rest is up to you. You just have to do it consistently. Remember, understanding everything and understanding without subtitles should not be your goal. Find out your level and using the right strategy can make your study more effective and you will have more realistic expectations, which are keys to keeping the motivation. I hope this video can give you some insight. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will try my best to answer. If you like this video, please give me a like to support me and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, guys. Bye.